Hello guys. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with my previous video on uh, warning to Tesla. Um, usually I like to talk uh, slow and my pace. You know, all people like to talk slowly, just like they're driving. Okay, and I'm like this. But then I heard comments that uh, my video is a little too long. And uh, I checked the stat, and the stat showed that uh, the average uh, watch time is less than six minutes. So then I thought, you know what, maybe maybe I should uh, make these videos like 10 minutes at most. And if, if I need to talk more, maybe I'll make part two. So, okay, consider this as part two, warning to Tesla. Uh, so my issues with Tesla, I mean, I've, I've been with Tesla, like I said, for many years. But my issues started with some of the things that, uh, some of the activities uh, in the last uh, few years. Um, uh, the tweet from Elon Musk bothered me, okay? Uh, it didn't sit well with me as why would uh, a tweet come from the CEO, uh, you know, to the, to, to the public like that. Something like this should not be through Twitter. Um, um, the other one that bothered me was Bitcoin. You know, uh, when the Bitcoin news came out, I I was I wasn't happy. I was not happy at all because I had arguments and discussions with uh, you know people I know uh, to buy Bitcoin. They were encouraging me to buy Bitcoin, and I said no. I don't like Bitcoin. I don't know Bitcoin. I, you know, it's not my my investment. I've been destroyed in the. Can you imagine me like losing all my money again because of Bitcoin? It's something that I don't even believe in, right? But it's me. Maybe maybe you you think it's uh, the wonder of of uh, you know uh, of the investment moving forward. For me, it's not it's not my investment, okay? And for Tesla to involve to to include Bitcoin as a form of payment bothered me a lot. Um, what else? Then uh, then came Twitter, and Twitter was a big thing. I mean, you know, I talked a lot about this the the investment and the model, and so so in my mind, I questioned is is Twitter part of uh, Tesla's model? Where would Twitter uh, where would Twitter fit in Tesla's model or ecosystem it doesn't unless unless media is part of it now it didn't sit well with me at all so I'm and when you're involved in a in, in a stock you tend to have um, uh, love for the stock and uh, maybe that's a mistake you, you really should not have uh, that kind of attachment to it um, you know, even though I said in previous video that, you know, you should care about your investment, you should not be thinking that, uh, hey, you know, uh, there's some sort of personal attachment to it. Uh, the company is not doing well. You could, you know, you're not satisfied. Move on. In the end, it's just an investment, right? There are a lot of companies to invest in. Anyways, um, so that bothered me, but I, I, I uh, uh, but the purchase of Twitter uh, personally hurt me a lot, okay? Because I had uh, I had a large uh, number of shares of Tesla in my margin account, and I left them. And uh, and uh, Elon Musk was selling shares like no tomorrow, <laughs> and I was losing I was, was losing my investment in my margin account, and in the end. And I kept them, I kept them, and uh, you know, and that was a mistake. But in the end, uh, my whole account was actually wiped out. So there you go. This is an example of how you could lose even on a great stock like Tesla because of some of the activities in there. So anyways, uh, my fault, I made, I made mistakes in the past that, that, that caused me to lose everything. Then I made a tremendous amount of money, as I said before, at $1.8 million out of 180000 Then I had uh, recently, like just last year, um, you know, lost a lot of money, mostly on Tesla, actually. And, uh, and the big one was, uh, you know, on, on the margin account. So you can see, you, we, you never stop learning. 
I mean, I'll consider this as a big lesson to me, right? And and the information I'm given to you is, you know, not telling you my life story, but more like, you know, hey, even even a beautiful stock like Tesla, you can lose money. You know, Tesla came down uh, uh, two third, lost two third of its value last year, right? Right. So, uh, so where are we going with this? Um, well, I, I, I really hope that Tesla will succeed. I really hope Tesla will succeed because I love Tesla. Okay, and uh, and I think Tesla deserves to succeed because Tesla made the EV industry where it is today. Without Tesla, you would not have the whole industry. And uh, and uh, and Tesla even made its own its design available for others to join. If you know about this, right? That Tesla made it available, made it easy, right? So there's a lot of credit should be given to Tesla in this regard. But Tesla lately has been complacent, somewhat, or maybe a lot. I don't know. Complacent, and the reason for that is. Well, the indicators for this are many. Uh, Model three, six years—that's too long. In in this is a dynamic uh, sector. You can't have a model for so long. Others will 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 you know will uh, uh, pass you, right? See, you know that that's a mistake. You, um, what else? Um, Model 3, Model Y. I mean, if you look at NEO as an example, NEO, uh, you know, uh, updated their models from NT1 to NT2 uh, within six months. All of them, all of them, there's major changes. And NEO is not competing with Tesla. I'm not saying this to make it easy on Tesla or anything. You look at the price brackets, uh, NEO is not competing with Tesla. Okay. Uh, Neo is competing with all the other Chinese uh, uh, manufacturers, all of them, BYD, uh, uh, Huawei, uh, you name it. I mean, there's a huge list. Even even the BMW and Mercedes. I mean, it com it's competing with everybody, and mainly in the in the luxury um, brand area. Excuse me. So. Uh, so, I truly hope that Tesla will succeed. I truly hope they will do the right things. But I tell you what, um, it's a it's a fast pace uh, uh, technology, right? And when Tesla, uh, when I heard about the the phone, Tesla's phone, I was actually excited. And all of a sudden, there's no more news uh, on the phone. So what happened to the phone? No one knows what happened. Why? It, it 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 should be. This is part of building your ecosystem. Why did you even de de develop it for, to begin with? I mean, if you if you don't want it, why did you even develop it? So, so that's um, uh, uh, I I've seen comment that uh, the price was too much and uh, couldn't compete with Google and uh, Apple and uh, and whatever whatever. I mean. If Neo, which is two percent of the valuation of Tesla, came up with a beautiful phone, and and Neo made it to compete with, you know, with uh, with its own, uh, you know, uh, Apple and uh, Google there, like like the Huawei and and uh, Zomi, then uh, Tesla should do that, <laughs> regardless, regardless. You building your own ecosystem, you need to have your fate in your hand, because. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Now, I heard a couple things that, that uh, you know, we should be thinking about. Uh, the first one was that uh, Apple uh, was questioning, questioning uh, whether it made sense to invest, uh, to uh, advertise in X. Okay. So, so that is, uh, excuse me, I, so that's, that's interesting. 
Okay, Apple's questioning advertising in X. The second one was there was a rumor. There was a rumor that that um, um, Twitter app uh, could be removed altogether from uh, from the app database, and uh, maybe Elon Musk. Uh, question that or something like this I mean these you, you hear about these rumors they could be wrong you know correct me if I'm wrong or I'm dreaming but these things uh, beg the question of what's going on between Twitter activities and uh, and um, Tesla because because if the phone was supposed to be part of the ecosystem and now Apple is um, uh, you know Hello, and, and Apple is uh, basically uh, penalizing Tesla by not advertising in Twitter and uh, not advertising in X and uh, and might take the whole app out or something like this. And who knows who would follow uh, uh, Apple, right? Then the question is: uh, is uh, is Elon Musk reacting to this by not uh, by having truce and not having the phone? Is this a possibility or am I just, uh, uh, you know, dreaming? It's possible, right? Um, so that's something to uh, to consider. The other thing is, okay, if I don't want to bother, maybe, maybe Tesla doesn't want to bother the big brothers, you know, the Apple and the Google and uh, Microsoft, okay? You don't want to bother them. Okay, well... If you don't want to bother them by having a phone, why, why are they happy to enter the EV race? Apple not only is happy to enter the EV race, Apple started this some nine years ago. I don't know why they haven't made major progress. I don't know if it takes nine years to... Uh, make uh, such progress but it's something to think about you know you you don't want to bother the big brothers but at the same time the big brothers uh, um, you know they're they're gonna eat your lunch <laughs> you know they don't care about you <laughs> it's like it's like me losing all my money in something and I love you know I, I love Tesla but I'm still losing my money it doesn't make sense you know you have to make the right decision you know tesla is a uh, is 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 big tesla uh, is is a really good company great company and they should not be impacted by anybody i know i know uh, 12 years ago i keep talking about 12 years ago right uh, years ago when uh, uh, there were there was big news between between apple and blackberry if you remember and Tesla and Black and Apple care less about BlackBerry. In fact, uh, there was a famous, um, famous uh, article, or, or some, yeah, maybe an article that uh, said uh, uh, to hire BlackBerry employees at at Apple by saying that uh, we we are another uh, fruit uh, company something like that because blackberry is fruit and apple is fruit apple not only you know uh, hurt blackberry too much and destroyed it or something but they also bragged about uh, being fruit just like blackberry so you know if you like if you like blackberry as a fruit uh, you know come over it's there's no mercy there's no mercy if apple takes over you know, Tesla will be cooked. Will be cooked like Bugs Bunny, you know, in that uh, pot. It's, it's, uh, there's no mercy there, okay? And I don't think uh, Apple has, uh, you know, uh, a lovely uh, brotherly thing by, by entering the EV race. It's very attractive. By the way, it, 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 to be honest, I, any company with Apple's tech would have to be involved in this. I mean, we're talking about revolution in technology through the EVs. Uh, so uh, this is not a this is not a simple uh, thing. And there's a tremendous amount of growth. And for a titan like Apple, you know, pushing on the three trillion or whatever, you need some 
big meat. And where can you find the meat in other than, uh, you know, EV in the EV market? It's where you can you can be a, a, a big player, right? That's my that's my view. And the same thing, I would not be surprised to see Google uh, uh, taking the lead at some point. I mean, who would have thought that Google uh, Google's phones will take over the whole world, not just not just the, you know, while while Apple and BlackBerry were fighting, you know, Android. You hear Android? What's going on? What, who is Android? Oh, yeah, it's it's Google. It's Google took over. Same thing here. You might wake up one day and find a Google car, Android. You know, so Tesla has to be super careful. I wish Tesla the best. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm cautious a little bit lately because I, I don't like their um, I don't like their uh, market share uh, loss. I don't like the fact that they're using their margins to stay in the uh, um, in the market uh, share uh, battle. Uh, I think they should be focusing more on technologies. But who am I? They say I, they should be, they should not be. Probably no one cares anyways. It doesn't matter. But I think this is for the record and this is for, for you know, you guys to think, you know, same same way as I'm thinking. Sometimes the stock price doesn't um, necessarily uh, uh, reflect reality. Does not reflect reality at all. Uh, you know, you could hear an analyst saying, yeah, okay, we're going to bypass uh, Q3. Okay, <laughs> okay, you, you go ahead and do that. It doesn't change the fact that, that uh, you know, Tesla's uh, 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 sales in September were temp over 10% uh, less than last year in China, which is the main battleground in China. 10% or more, actually, a little bit more than that. Right, and less than August. If you're interested in August, it's less than August, and the whole quarter. I mean, you can, you, you're supposed to be growing something like forty to fifty percent. Yeah, I know. The uh, yeah, okay. By the end of the year, still one point eight million, or whatever. It's, but, but the reality you can see. You can see from the numbers. And by the way, this ten percent drop from last year, after the. The, the after uh, um, a Model 3 was discounted heavily and Model Y was discounted heavily as well. So if we didn't have this massive discounts on these models, it would be a totally different situation. So the way to compete with the with you know in the EV industry is not by dropping the price and losing your profits. It by you know improving in the technology. And by providing the customers with, uh, you know, uh, with better work and invest in R&D, stay up, uh, keep investing in R&D because we haven't heard too much in that area. Okay, that's my take. Anyways, you have to have a balance. You can't say, okay, I won the race, I'm done, and uh, you know, uh, okay, let me uh, let me take a break for two, three years, five years. You can't do that. Okay. Anyways. Still, like I said, wish them the best, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Bye-bye.